the PDW57 is the second submachine gun you unlock in Black Ops 2 as soon as you unlock Creator Class. It is one of the slowest firing submachine guns but has the most bullets per magazine and better range compared to the other submachine guns. The slower fire it means that you have to be accurate with the PDW57 and that it isn't well suited to firing from the hip. When using the PDW57 you have to be more defensive than with other submachine guns. Be sure to stay away from long sidelines since you are unlikely to win against assault and sniper rifles and light machine guns at long range. You will also be hard pressed to win an engagement when you run into an enemy face to face if they have a different submachine gun, so make sure you don't sprint around corners and are ready for engagements at any time. For the PDW57 to be most effective you have to be aiming down the sights. In every gunfight aim down the sights as soon as possible. The perks I found most useful with the PDW57 were Ghost, Lightweight, Toughness, Dexterity and Tactical Mask. Even though you should be more defensive with the PDW57 than with other submachine guns, you will still be flanking and close to the enemies. Ghost will stop enemies from having an advantage with the UAV and might even let you catch them off guard. Lightweight lets you change positions and get to enemies faster. Toughness will be important to keep your aim on target even when you are being shot at. Dexterity will ensure that you can win engagements where you aren't ready more easily. Tactical Mask will stop enemies from rendering you defenseless with tactical equipment. The Laser Sight will reduce the hipfire spread. It lets you react to enemies even quicker since you don't have to aim down the sights at close range. But even with rapid fire, the PDW57's fire rate is too slow to consistently win engagements whilst firing from the hip. Fast Mag reduces the time it takes to reload the PDW57. I found that reloading wasn't a big issue since the PTW57 has a very large magazine so you can reload when it is safe. The foregrip makes the PTW57 easier to use under sustained fire. The effects are sometimes hard to spot but can be useful when the enemies are further away. FMJ increases the penetration and damage against score streaks. Neither of those advantages are commonly useful but can help you out in some situations. The long barrel makes your PDW57 even better at range by reducing the damage drop off at longer distances. This will let you be more competitive at medium range and gives you a better chance at the long range. The stock increases the movement speed whilst aiming making strafing even more effective. Normally when you are aiming and moving you show up on enemy UAVs even with ghost. With the stock you don't since your movement speed is that of normal walking. Extended clip increases the bullets per magazine, which lets you worry about reloading even less. It will be much easier to get triple kills and beyond where you normally would run out of ammunition. Select fire lets you switch from automatic to burst fire. I didn't find much use for burst fire since it is only effective at long range where the PDW57 isn't good at all. Rapid fire increases the fire rate of the PDW57 but at the cost of much more recoil and a substantial loss of range. With rapid fire you will be much better at close range since your fire rate is on power with the other submachine guns. The PDW57 has four optical attachments. All of them make it easier to take out enemies at medium and long range, but at the cost of filling up your screen and thus giving you tunnel vision. Overall the iron sights are good enough so that you don't need to use any optical attachments. The suppressor keeps you off the radar and reduces muzzle flash. I often found that just after I had taken out a few enemies I would be swarmed by the rest of the team. The suppressor will let you be close to enemies without them knowing where you are. Quick Roll lets you aim down the sights of the PDW57 much faster. With Dexterity you will be able to aim down the sights almost instantly even after sprinting which is where the PDW57 is best. So there you go, that is a class up I recommend for the PDW57. Leave a comment below with your favourite class setup for the PDW57 for a chance to be featured on next Wednesday's feedback video. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.